What's going on everybody? My name's Ashley and welcome to another episode in my Crystal Palace career mode. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to check out any social media links or links to the previous episode, they'll be down in the description below. And anyway guys, welcome back. We are going to be moving on into our second pre-season friendly against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Go back. If you did miss the previous episode, I do recommend you go back and check it to see the signings that we have made so far because most of our transfer business was done in the last episode. But we're going to be moving on into this game against Borussia Mönchengladbach who are a very solid German side so we know it's going to be a very, very tough game but we need to try and rotate our players and see what we can get out of it. You can see the players that we've got on screen now. So we start off well, we get some nice work here by Balassi who's going to use the McGee spin to cut inside, find himself some space and have a shot which is saved by the keeper, but it does fall back and almost goes in but they do manage to clear it off the line to keep it at nil nil. Then they get another opportunity themselves, cut inside and eventually cross the ball in and the keeper does well to save it and put it out for a corner. From the resulting corner they're going to swing it in and have a shot once again saved by the keeper we do manage to scramble it clear but they do win the ball back and cross it in and we do clear it once more but it finds itself on the edge of the area to them again and eventually they work it through the side of the area and we do eventually take them out and give them a penalty to give them an opportunity to take the lead and from the resulting penalty their player is going to step up and put it away to make it 1-0 to our opponent although we did dive the right way so we need to see how the team responds to this early setback and try and push forward into the game but another opportunity for my opponent gets them in behind with some nice interchanging passing some quick passing gets themselves some space they eventually work it free in the air and head it home to make it 2-0 putting us even further behind as we move into the halftime interval we're going to make a triple substitution now it's going to be replaced by gale we're going to replace our left back with sol and also ledley is going to come on for yedinak to complete the substitutions but bruce you mentioned glad about weren't done there some nice work he finds this Raphael in some open space and he picks out a lovely cross towards Han who finds himself in acres of space and eventually finishes at the near post to make it 3-0 to my opponent and they weren't done there they get another opportunity some nice work here finds them in some open space Herman's going to cross it in back to Cruz Cruz is going to find the ball and tap it into the empty net to make it 4-0 which was how the game did finish it is a disappointing result but we're going to aim to improve in the final game of pre-season so as we come back and we see that Glen Murray has been sold to Leicester City for 1.3 million which will increase our transfer budget slightly and we're also going to go ahead and adjust it taking the wage budget down to £50,000 to see how much we do have left over and we are left with £6.1 million pounds to spend so we're going to move on and see that Nathan Rimbin has decline the contract offer we did leave him at the end of the last episode and we're going to go ahead and offer him a better role in the team and hopefully we can secure him we're also going to offer him 22k this time to hopefully secure the deal we did put an inquiry on De Siglio who we could be interested in as a potential left back if we do replace uh, Joel Ward currently in negotiations to leave the club so we're going to see how that goes before accepting that deal and as you come back we do see that Joel Ward has actually declined the move away from the club so we will be keeping him so when Dissigo comes back to us we're not going to go ahead with that deal but we're going to move into a match against AC Milan and hopefully we can pick up a better result than we did against Borussia Mönchengladbach but again another top top side that we will be taking on early on in the pre-season getting us towards playing Premier League football and it starts off well for AC Milan they get an opportunity we do manage to block the shot but they do win the ball back and they'll keep it as well to keep it out we eventually do clear the ball and they get another opportunity moments later again poor defender allows them to get a shot where they hit the post they do win it back but our keeper clears it up and we do manage to get our opportunity to get the ball away and then we get an opportunity of our own some nice work by Jason Punch and getting it inside he does get tackled wins the ball back himself and then has dribbles in towards the air, turns to the defender, eventually trying to work himself some space and doesn't manage to put it towards the goal, but they do clear it off the line. Then some nice work again, Dwight Gale this time playing it through to punch and punch and how we're going to have a shot saved by the keeper, and the keeper does manage to gather at the second opportunity. And that's how the game was going into the half-time break. So we do make some changes, trying to freshen things up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and 
face Jason Punch in with Jordan Much at the camp position. We're also going to go and take off Balassi to give him a rest and bring on Yunzel and put Gale out to the left wing. So we're going to move on into the second half and we get an opportunity early on where we play the ball through to Gale. Gale's going to take it inside in first base for a shot and he's eventually going to be taken out in the area to win us a penalty. And Yednak's going to be the man to step up from the penalty spot and he's going to dispatch it away to give us a 1-0 lead. Then we get another opportunity. It's a nice work by Zaha swinging it across and Unizal's going to head it home to give us a 2-0 lead which was how the game did finish. So a good end to our pre-season. As you can see the team did perform well. Unizal getting his goal and also some nice work by the other players involved. But we come back and see that we did have an injury picked up in the game. Joel Ledley is out for two weeks. We do also get a contract accepted for Nathan Redmond. So we're going to bring him in so we can rotate our wide players. And another player with a lot of pace in the wide areas is always a beneficial player. So we're going to go ahead and bring him into the squad and then head on towards and see that the offer has been accepted by Milan but we're not going to take it because we don't have enough money to complete we did also look to bring in another midfielder as we do have the injury to Ledley and we are a bit lightweight in that area but we don't have enough money currently to complete that deal so we're going to go ahead and see what happens with transfer offers and see if anyone comes in for our players and if we get a decent offer we will try and bring another central midfielder into the club but we will see what happens with the transfers is two to three weeks left of the transfer window but we're going to be heading towards the first game of the season against Arsenal but before we do that we go into the uh, news feed and see that Joe Ledley has returned from injury we're also going to go ahead and go to the press conference and motivate our team to try and get the best possible result in this game against Arsenal who are a perennial uh, top four side so we know that this isn't going to be an easy game but we're going to try and see what result we can get um, we have rotated the team a little bit to try and get the best players in the team as we want to try and get the best result, especially after such a mixed pre-season. So, but we go into the game and it starts off well for Arsenal as they get an opportunity. They cross the ball in and it falls back out to Ojeda. They do win it back with Rosicki who plays into Sanchez who manages to tuck it away to give Arsenal the 1-0 lead, which is disappointing to concede so early on but it was a very dead game until the stroke of half time where they get an opportunity with Sanchez this time crossing it in who's going to cross it into Ozil and Ozil's going to have a strike but he fails to hit the target and at the 60th minute mark the game was still very uh, deft of chances so we decided to make some substitutions we took off Gale and brought on Ozil Redmond came on for uh, punching and we also brought on Joe Ledley for but that actually failed to do anything in the game as you can see there was very very few shots there was only two shots on target in the whole match and that was how the game did finish we end up losing our first game but it is a positive result because it is against Arsenal who are a top four side and we are aiming to finish around 10th but we're going to move forward until the next game of the season which is going to be against West Ham United and that's where we will finish the episode so we'll start the next episode against the game against Arsenal we see that we do have an offer for loan for Zeki Fryers so we're going to send him out as he is not going to be part of our first team plans it's going to bring a wrap up to the episode so I hope you guys have enjoyed until next time my name is Ashley thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time